that, everybody? Fine. Fine. We hear you loud and clear. We have called it. We're done. That's it. Game over. We're not making dirt bike videos anymore. Oh, so sad. We're not going off-road anymore. We're not doing adventure bike nonsense. Uh, I never took you guys out on the motocross track because I knew that video would get like 2,000 hits. Um, this is a sad day, Spike, but it's a real day. We have to talk yes. about how we cannot make off-road dirt bike videos anymore. There's lots of reasons why we can't. We're gonna get into them today. Um, off the bat, what, what's our sentiment now that we've kind of, we, we have now fully committed to like, we're not gonna make these videos anymore. Yeah, no, we just, we can't in good conscience make them because they just don't, they, they don't do what they need to do. Yeah. And, and at the end of the day, this is not a hobby for us. This is job, business, work. These videos have to get views um, yeah. for our sponsors, for the AdSense dollars, for everything else. We can't put out videos that don't perform. Yeah, and it's a real bummer because we both have like had a second coming off road yeah. in the last year. And we've tried to share that with y'all. And, <laughs> and you uh, guys are like. <laughs> 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 yeah, there's a lot of, there's been a lot more pushback than I thought. Yeah. Um, and it's from both both sides of the aisle too. Yeah. The dirt boys are all like, you suck, go find real off-road. And the people on the street are like, why aren't you just doing highway pulls? Yeah. And it's like for the people that tell us we suck off-road, it's just the Chad meme of us just going, we know. Yeah. <laughs> what, of okay. course. Yeah. Do I look like an enduro pro to you? No. <laughs> But yeah, it's been it's been interesting seeing the audience's feedback from both sides, basically being like, we don't want this. Um, and we hear you loud and clear. Uh, we've also tested this with the CRF giveaway. We tested it before with the DRZ giveaway, but clearly we're dumb enough to come back for seconds, you know? I think probably what ended up happening is at that point with the DRZ, we were like still trying to figure everything out. Yeah. Everything was a lot more fluid. I mean, we were still in Gitmo at it that was, point. It was early stages, yeah. And then we were like, okay, let's let's test the waters proper with mm -hmm. the CRF. Let's see what we can do here. Give it a college try, you know? And, and boy, did we. Yeah, and, and we really did, guys. And that's what we want to tell you. I know there's gonna be lots of comments telling us like, oh, but what if you did this? What if you tried it this way? What if you tried it that? We've squared this circle in all kinds of ways. We tried it as a giveaway bike. We've done content around it. We've done explainer content. We've tried to make the content uh, packaged in a list way. I mean, it just doesn't do that great. But one outlier though is the KLR. I don't get it. So in the KLR on our back end for our research on YouTube, we can actually see that it is in the top three uh, pages of the most searched terms. In there you have stuff like Honda Groms, MT-07, Sportster 1200s, really common popular bikes. And in there, among all these other bikes, <laughs> is KLR the KLR 650. 650. So that's why some of Spite's videos of the KLR have actually done well. And it's cool because it's your personal bike. So yeah. it's fun to, you know, it didn't cost the business anything because it's just your bike. So if you want to wheel it out, make videos with it, we can make sense of it. Um, the only videos that have done reasonably well in this kind of field were the Pan America long distance adventure videos. Yeah. That actually did pretty well. Yeah. Right? So I'm going to actually, I've got some uh, data here on that because yes. we've got the analytics pulled for a handful of different videos in a bunch of different styles. So looking at the analytics for the 2000 miles in four days, my real world long distance test on the Pan America, mm -hmm. uh, we're seeing a view duration on that of 16 minutes and 26 seconds. So to give you guys context, a normal Yamanu video does about seven and a half minutes of duration. So this is huge duration over it. Huge duration. And watch time is everything on YouTube. You guys might see big views on some channels, but if they don't sit around and keep watching, it doesn't mean anything. And I mean, it, right now it's sitting at 78,000 views, which is doing- Really? Yeah. That's, I, last time I looked, it was like 40. So that's actually really good. It's tapering up right now. That's and I can't tell you why. Yeah. Just some reason- yeah, We it, just we just pray to the algorithm God and it just it goes up or goes down. We don't know. Yeah, it's, it's getting parabolic in a good direction. But yeah. compare that to our five tips, uh, or our five things to avoid mistakes <laughs> off-road video. That one a went stinker. over- stinker. Yeah, it went over like a fart in church. Yeah. Uh, it is currently sitting at a whopping 23,000 views with a engagement of, we're seeing a watch time of five minutes and 42 <laughs> seconds, baby. So low viewership, low click click through, low watch time, uh, a lower CPM as well. I mean, it, across the board, that video just absolutely tanked. 
And it sucks because it was a really well-made video. Yeah. And that... a lot of people let that feedback in the comments. They're like, this is a nice video, make more of it. And we're just like, no, you guys don't watch it. We can't make more of it. We really shot for the fences on that one because we were wrapping up with the CRF. Mm -hmm. We were trying to pilot this new style of video that you you guys have seen and responded well to, yeah. where it's really scripted and we're, you know, we're, we're focusing really hard on the the like nuts and bolts of video making. Yeah. And we really, we tested the field with that. And boy, oh boy, <laughs> was that rough to watch. Yeah. Like we, it came out 10 of 10. Which, yeah. uh, on, on which the back is not end. a good thing. On the back end, that means it's performing the worst out of the last 10 videos you've posted. And it was by a wide margin. By too. a wide margin. So I, I, I messaged Spite on Slack. I was like, dude, this video's tanking. We got to save it. Um, and you whipped up a different thumbnail, a different title. We're trying to save it. And it still just sat 10 to 10. It, was, yeah. it went nowhere. No matter what we did, we could not resurrect that video. Yeah. And you compare that to a list video. So top seven <laughs> new motorcycles under $5,000. That video right now, the watch time is low, five minutes and 49 seconds. That video is 10 minutes long. Yeah. And this is where things get interesting. 120,000 views. Yeah. So even though the watch time is a little lower, the views make up for it and yeah, it, it just makes the case for itself there. And again, guys, like we, we have sponsors on these videos. This video is brought to you by Flying Eyes. They're our eyewear of choice, and that's for good reason. Some of you might not know this, but the sun wants to murder your eyeballs. I know, might sound wild, but it's true. The only thing standing between you and blindness for the rest of your life is flying eyes. They've got thin, flexible frames that fit comfortably between your head and your helmet, making them the perfect eyeball murder protection device for motorcyclists, scooterists, pilots, wannabe pilots, construction workers, and people who play construction workers in media if you catch my drift. Oh, and anybody else who wants to wear sunglasses. Better still, you can mix and match a whole bunch of frames and lenses so that you can get one that matches your style. Click that link down below and use the code YAMMYNOOB for 10% off your order and protect your eyeballs right, my dudes. We have to promote our store. If every video we posted got 20 or 15,000 views, this would be a non-viable business. Mm -hmm. um, it just wouldn't work. So that's why you see stuff like the list videos every week. It's why you see us making the sport bike content, the street bike stuff. It's why one of our giveaway bikes later this month might surprise you, but we've seen data supporting that it's gonna be very popular, right? You have to shoot for what's popular. Um, and I think a lot of people are gonna be really interested in that bike that's gonna come out later. Yeah, and one more video I wanted to talk about is the Zero video. This one is hot off the presses. We yes. just released it. And this is one where we, we can do more of this style. We This was a very investigative video. It took me a lot of time to really mm -hmm. sit down and find all the nuts and bolts. And then we actually reworked the script entirely, mm -hmm. got it super focused. It's really a nice video, something I think we're both proud of. Very proud of it, yeah. Putting out, and that video is crushing it. Yeah. So seven and a half minute watch time. So it's right down the fairway, but it is sitting at 137,000 views after a couple of days. Yeah, because the click-through rate on the thumbnail was out of control. It is out of control. Yeah, yeah. the click-through rate on that currently is 6.4, but it was sitting at 10 the first day. Yeah, it's, it's massive. And so we've done a really big job lately of trying to make the thumbnails more engaging, the titles more attention grabbing, uh, because we do need people to watch the videos. And we've just seen that when we do dirt bike stuff, as much as it pains us, it just, it doesn't go anywhere. It's why I've never really made any video on my Husky 501, my personal bike, except for one video in California. And we did the comparison for the Pan Am. Which that one didn't do particularly well either. Didn't do that great either. Um, and it just kind of leads us to the final point of like, you know, <laughs> you're just gonna see a lot of sport bike stuff on here, street bike stuff especially, because that is the kind of middle of the road motorcycling that exists. Um, mm -hmm. Dirt bike stuff and even enduro and motocross, it's all super niche and adventure bikes too. I know a lot of people are gonna say, oh, but they're flying off the shelves, they're so popular. It's a very, it's a niche of a niche. Motorcycling is a niche, adventure bikes are a niche of motorcycling and there's just not enough people there to support what we do as, as an audience. I also generally have a theory about the adventure bike rider and that's that they're not out looking for videos when they could just be doing the thing. Yeah. You know, adventure bike riders, they 
they would rather post their own like 45 minute <laughs> GoPro video of boy, being like, boy, would they? Yeah. Me, me doing the thing on yeah. my adventure bike than uh, watching somebody do it in a yeah. like, highly produced way. They, they appreciate review content, yeah. which is, I think, why. Well, let's be real. They appreciate validation porn. That, yeah, that's That's true. what adventure bike guys love. They want to they wanna log into 10 or 700 videos and just be like, oh my God, this video is so freaking good. <laughs> <laughs> and we just got demonetized on this one. So right. maybe we maybe we blur that out in post. Um, but they, they do love that uh, approach to it. Um, but here's my thinking on it. I mm -hmm. like your idea of like the adventure bike rider is someone who just like rides and doesn't really watch videos. I think that's most experienced motorcyclists. Like, yeah, I don't really watch motorcycle content that often. No. Um, I don't really feel the need to as someone who was already riding. But before I started riding, you can bet I was consuming the out of motorcycle content. Oh yeah, and absolutely. And so when you think of the person who is watching most often as someone who's trying to get into it or is recently into it, they want to see entry-level beginner sport bikes and stuff like that because that's what they're all kind of interested in, right? Yeah, it, dual sports generally are super specialized. Yeah. You know, you very rarely are you going to find somebody who's like, I want to get started motorcycling. I want to get a DRZ 400 S. Yeah. And I want to go hit some trails. I'd be trails. like, you are enlightened. Yeah. That is great. Wisdom beyond your years. <laughs> but most people, they really just want to see the bike that they can start on. Yeah. And they want to live vicariously through the video and be like, well, oh, that's going to be me once I get my MSF course. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So guys, um, you know, for better or for worse, uh, I know some of you dirt boys are gonna be sad, but you will not see any more dirt oriented content here on YouTube from Yami New. Um, if you want though, you can join our Discord. We have a whole off-road channel on the Discord where people are always posting up stuff and I post up little videos of me riding here and there. Nothing like super produced, it's just like little GoPro footage and a couple pieces of content here and there. I know you do that with your KLR. Yep. But uh, as far as like premier like YouTube content we're gonna post, we can't do it anymore. No, I mean, maybe once in a blue moon when we think we have like an amazing idea or like we wanna do like- I'll still veto it. <laughs> yeah, honestly, it's it, we could have the greatest idea in the world. And if we make it, it probably just would underperform. Yeah. And oh well, you know. One thing I can say for sure though, not gonna miss the comments that say that it's not real off-road. In my country, this is just road. <laughs> How many times have How we seen <laughs> Like, we make a video and we're out in Bastrop doing whatever we're doing yeah. and it's just, it's like, oh my God. Yeah. This is, this is hard off-roading for like anything other than like the Husky, which yeah. just eats it up. And you see it on YouTube and they're like, nah. No, it's not good enough. Yeah. But it's funny because that permeates a lot of off-road content. I've seen other creators talking about that now. It's annoying how people are like, that's not good enough. That's not hard enough and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and then you check on their videos and they're just like poodling around their backyard and you're like, okay, sure. Yeah. You know, whatever. But yeah, guys, going to be a uh, sport bike time here on Yami New, probably retro time here on Yami New, but neo retro that is kind of classics, cruisers. I mean, here was the, the crazy surprise of the last couple weeks was the Royal Enfield was the most successful motorcycle giveaway launch we have ever done. Yeah. Ever. So, unreal. Ever. Uh, yeah, it beat the R1. Uh, if you'd have told me that a Royal Enfield giveaway beats an R1 giveaway. Completely usurped that throne because the R1 yeah. exploded. The R1 was just like gangbusters. Yeah. Um, but yeah, any, any final words, Spite, for the folks? I kind of knew this was coming, yeah. honestly. It, we tried so hard to make the dirt bike stuff work, but I could just sort of feel it in the air, yeah. you know, after the first couple. So sad, but not surprised. Yeah. Again, giveaway bike coming later this month, and I think I think those videos are just going to blow up. I think so too. Yeah. Well, guys, let us know what you think down below about the death of dirt bike content here on Mimi Noob. I'm sure many of you are dancing on the grave of that news. So uh, yeah, let us know, and we'll catch you in the next one. See you later. Well, look at you. You've made it to the end of another Yammy Noob video. You should consider yourself pretty lucky because I have curated this one right over here for you to continue watching. It's probably just as good as the one you just saw. Unless you hated the one you just saw. I don't know. Maybe leave me a comment down below about how you much you hated it as well, too. Or just keep watching this one. Make sure you keep watching Yammy Noob. Don't forget to keep watching Yammy Noob. That's the most important thing. Keep watching Yammy Noob.